How's it going guys? It's Bailey here with Rogers Performance Marine. Uh, today our service department repowered this 16 foot aluminum boat with this new 2020 Mercury 15 horsepower uh, electronic fuel injected four stroke outboard. Uh, first thing I want to show you is up under the cowling, um, how you're going to take care of it when you service this engine. So to remove the cowling, you want to flip this latch here, lift up. You do have the pull rope on the back side. You need to make sure that it comes um, out from through this hole. Going over the service on this outboard, um, to check your oil level would be right here to this dipstick. It holds about one quart of uh, Mercury 10W30 oil. Um, to add oil to it will be right here. Your fuel filter is gonna be on the port side of the boat. Um, when servicing your fuel filter, you don't wanna do just the element on the inside. You actually wanna do the entire fuel filter by removing both of these hoses, pulling the fuel filter off, new one goes on, then the other hoses come back on. Oil filter access is gonna be just right in front of the uh, fuel filter as well um, the service on this engine is going to be once a year or every hundred hours whatever comes first that's going to include oil oil filter fuel filter and then as well as the gear lube and the lower unit um, while we're talking about the lower unit the water impeller that actually pulls the water from the lake to cool the engine needs to be serviced every other year regardless of use so if you had an off season where you only used it twice in two years you still need to have it done it's kind of like a light bulb they're not going to tell you when it fails they just go so every other year to have that done um, we're going to take and hook this up to water, fire it up, show you how to get it started, how to shift it in, that, in and out of gear, then how to hold a throttle control on it. While we're running it out of water, we're not going to put it in a bucket. We're going to use one of these flushettes. That's going to go over this vent on the lower unit, okay? Um, and that's going to allow it to fake like it's on the water and pull in water to keep it cool. So I'm going to get the water turned on and we'll get it fired up. All right, so now we've got it hooked up to water and it's ready to run. Um, first thing we're gonna do is lower the tiller arm down so we can access the start button as well as the gear control. To do that, you got a little lever right here on the starboard side of the boat, take and twist that forward, and that's gonna allow you to bring the tiller arm down. Before we fire it up, we wanna check for two things. We wanna make sure one, um, that the motor itself is in neutral. It will not fire in forward or reverse. And then we also wanna make sure the emergency kill switch is on. You'll find that on the bottom side of the tiller handle there. Um, those two things you need to check. Obviously things like making sure you have fuel and battery powered or you're, you're gonna be um, needed to fire this up. Okay, so to get this started, you got your start, you can do it one of two ways. You got your start button right here. This is an electric start outboard, so you can press that or you can pull the start. This not having a carburetor on it anymore, there is no more press to choke. Remember this is an EFI system. Okay, so we're gonna get it fired up by pressing 